another training video for C Digital Menu. In this video, we're going to review how to create and manage our modifiers using the Seed Manage site. The Seed Manage site can be accessed by opening Seed from your Clover dashboard on your laptop or your PC. Now let's begin by creating a new modifier. To do this, click on the menu section on the left side of your menu bar. Here's where you can manage all aspects of your menu. Let's go ahead and select Menu Item Modifiers at the top of our screen. Now here is where we can manage all of our modifiers. If you're using Seed for the very first time, you'll find all of the previous modifiers in your list below. These were all imported from Clover during the installation process when you downloaded Seed. To create a new modifier, go ahead and click on the button Plus New Modifier. Here is where you can enter the basic details or properties for your modifier. So our first section is called Modifier. This is going to be our, the official name of the modifier. Now here we can be as descriptive as we would like as we will only see this on the Manage site. So for this, let's call it Cook Temperature Beef. Next is our short name. The short name is how it will appear on your order form or receipts. So let's go ahead and just call this one Cook Temp. Next is our modifier type. Here we have two options, required and optional. When required is selected, it means that a choice must be made for this modifier in order for the item to be added to the order. If optional is selected, it means that the choice is not required. This might be for an add-on or an item that doesn't require a selection to normally be made. Since our modifier is asking for the cook temp, we need to know what the temperature to cook their beef is at. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this one as required. Now our last section is called multiple choice. Now multiple choice uses an on and an off switch. When the switch is off, the switch will be white and it's gonna be on the left. This means that you can choose only one option for this specific modifier. To turn the switch on, simply click on it. The switch will move to the right and you'll notice the change in colors. Now when turned on, it will allow as many choices as needed to be made. This would be, say, for baked potato toppings, or a topping for a burger. For this one, let's go ahead and leave it turned off. When you're finished entering your properties, go ahead and tap the button, plus create. So, let's go ahead and let's start entering our options. To create a new option, click on the button, plus option. Just like the modifier properties, we have our option name and our short name. Now, since our modifier is our cook temperature for beef, Let's go ahead and start with rare. And we're gonna go ahead and do it for both. Now you also have the ability to attach a price to an option. Now if we were creating an option for say steak toppings and this option was crab, we could give this a price of $8 if we wanted. When this particular option is ordered, then it will add an additional $8 to the menu item price. So now that we're finished, let's go ahead and click on create. Now let's go ahead and hit option again, and let's do medium rare, and let's do medium, and medium well, and well done. Now that we have our options finished, if you ever need to go back and edit an option, all you have to do is just click on the name of the option. If you ever need to edit the details or the properties for your modifier, simply just click on Properties. And if you ever need to delete one, just hit Delete. If you have any additional questions or need a little bit more help, feel free to email us at support at cdigitalmenu.com or give us a call at 425-296-7409 and one of our dedicated suit specialists will be more than happy to help you.